Last night, during the mixed telecast, they mentioned that Steve Kerr got a new contract with the Golden State Warriors while signed an extension, a two-year extension for $35 million. And for a coach, that's just remarkable, big money. And of course, if anyone deserves to get paid through the roof on the coaching front, it's Steve Kerr who has been the head coach of a team that's won four championships since 2015. They were talking about it, and Steve Kerr, the Warriors, were his first head coaching job, right? And they were talking about how, at the time, he had the decision to make whether to go to the Golden State Warriors or right here to the New York Knicks. And Phil Jackson, who was very close to Steve Kerr, because Steve Kerr played under Phil Jackson with the 90s Bulls when they won the championships, okay? He got there right after Michael retired the first time. And his first year, I believe, was that first season after Michael left, yes, the 93-94 season, where the Bulls, without Jordan, took the Knicks to seven games in the second round. And Kerr played throughout the rest of those years when Jordan came back and he won the three championships with Michael, Scotty, Dennis, and Phil. And when, yeah, so when Phil came, that was Phil's top choice to be the head coach, Steve Kerr. And so whatever happened, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but <laughs> tell you one thing, one thing I, I definitely believe, and look, if he had come to the Knicks, okay, Steve Kerr right now would not be coaching in the NBA, okay? He would not be coaching. He would be somewhere in exile, okay? Because dealing with the Knicks, okay, can leave you in shambles, okay? Because it's hard to win in New York with the Knicks. It's hard, especially when at that time, when Carmelo Anthony was the star player of the team. Now look, Steve Kerr shows Golden State. <coughs> Excuse me. Steve Kerr shows Golden State who had a real, a real superstar. Steph Curry. And that move, that decision right there, saved the fate of his career. Because had Steve Kerr showed the Knicks he would have ended up how Derek Fisher ended up, how Jeff Hornacek ended up, okay? How so many guys who have coached the Knicks over the last 20 years or so have ended up. Run out of here in shame, okay? And don't hear from them again, okay? Ever. Like, exile. And that's basically what happened with the two coaches who were here when Phil Jackson was here, Derek Fisher and Jeff Hornacek, two former NBA players, Jeff like Steve Kerr, and they had to tie their wagon to Carmelo Anthony, who I've said over and over again, not as good as what everyone else made him out to be, but that's the franchise player. All of New York is Melo's the man, Charles Barkley. Carmelo's the best pure scorer in the NBA. Okay, so he had the keys to the franchise, the keys to the offense. And you know what? If Steve Kerr <laughs> had chosen the Knicks and was in the same position as Fisher and Hornacek, nobody would know where Steve Kerr is at right now, okay? So he made the best move decision of his life, of his coaching career, okay? All right, by not choosing to come to the Knicks where he would have had to have, all right, Carmelo Anthony as his leader, best player, taking the most shots, everything built around him, he would have ended up, okay, 
And let's not forget Mike D'Antoni, who was the coach with D'Antoni, who got run out of here because he had to tie his, he had to tie himself, okay, attach himself to Carmelo Anthony. All right? He's not that good. And look, because look, folks, that summer when Steve Kerr had to make that decision, do I go to Golden State or the Knicks? Look at this, okay? Steve Kerr picks the Warriors. He picks Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, all right? The best shooting backcourt ever, Steph Curry, arguably a top 10 player of all time. He chooses them that next season, in his first year coaching, they won the championship. That same season, that same season that Steve Kerr showed the Warriors over the Knicks and what ended up being the first year under Carmelo Anthony's new contract. Because remember, folks, remember that summer of 2014, Carmelo opted out of his contract, opted out, became a free agent. All you Knicks fans, all you New York sports media, all of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all. I remember the time well. It was 10 years ago, but I remember it well, okay? All of y'all were like, oh, sign Carmelo. You can't lose Carmelo. He's a star. Stars don't grow on trees. I can't tell you how many times I heard this phrase. Stars don't grow on trees, okay? Carmelo's supposed to be a star, okay? All the basketball world, oh, Carmelo's a star. And mind you, the Knicks at this point are just a year removed from winning 54 games, finishing number two in the Eastern Conference, okay? All right, so you would figure the Knicks are better off with him than without him, right? You would figure that. And what happened? That first season with that new contract, when the Warriors, all right, when Steve Kerr packed up the Knicks and Carmelo and won the championship with real stars, a real star, and Steph Curry, who can really carry and lead a team, that for the Knicks that season, they started off with five wins. Five wins, right, folks? And do you know how many losses? 36. The Knicks started off the 2014-15 season with five wins and 36 losses. Derek Fisher, first-year head coach. That ended up being... The worst season in Knicks history, obviously, right? I mean, they ended up being 17-65, and 65, the worst record in Knicks history, which I mentioned four years later when the Knicks were trying to tank. Finished with the same record, 17-65, and 65, worst in Knicks history. That's what they finished with Carmelo leading the way, 2014-15, first year of his new deal. Steve Kerr made the smartest move of his life. Because like I said, had he chose Carmelo in the mix, he would be where Derek Fisher is at. No one knows, okay? All right, coaching in WNBA, because in the NBA, the NBA was done with him, okay? Jeff Hornacek, no one's even seen him since the Knicks let him go. <laughs> All right, coaching Carmelo. Where, where's Jeff Hornacek at, okay?